Hello everyone, welcome back to Assassin's Creed Bar. Hello. Let's see where we left off. This place is heavily. The Dark Master. I do not see him. Is he here? Keep walking. You have no business here. He has a loud mouth. Usually stands right around here, yarping. Hard to miss. Fuck off. There must be another way in. Nobody tells me to fuck off. Fuck off. of a needle. I'm on his trail. So, the Dark Master sees his cargo and re- The ones involved, they're black cloths. They may be able to get their attention by showing some silver around the marketplace. some silver to the merchants. That should get their attention. What do you mean, trouble? I don't know for sure, but the needle is calling for more protection. Hear me, friend. I have a haul of silver that will sink my ship. Can you help me spend it? Keep it down, would you? You'll get yourself killed for him like that, especially around here. What good is a market if I cannot sniff around its stalls eager to spend my gains? You want to let go of your silver? Try the narrow alleys. Now be gone! Meet me here at nightfall. We will go see him together.
Hi, friend. I have a hoard of silver I'm making to spend. Can you help me? What have you got? I have nothing left to trade, but Coppergate Market is the right place. Ask around. You'll find someone who'll bend an ear. My thanks. I hear this marketplace sees its fair share of silver pass through. I have something that may interest you. You will want to speak to Grigori. The Dark Master? Sorry. Who are you? Someone who wants to do business. With Grigori. I don't know your face. And I've said too much already. Please, go! Psst. Psst. Did I hear you talking about silver? I'm looking to spend the large sum, not fork it over to some street beggar. Oi! I'm no beggar, you dolt. I'm with the big dogs. You mean the needle? You have something he wants. If you truly want to make a trade, head to the statue near the east gate. I shall. Watch yourself around here, young one. Oh, me? <laughs> Please, I have a bigger sword than a lot of them. And no Nietzsche! We will go one by one, and if any of these peddlers gives you a hard time, remind them just who it is they work for. Oh, with pleasure. <laughs> Why would you even try to do that one?
Sunin, guide me. Oh, she is in there. More? I must be on my way now. Goodbye. Empty cards and a black cloth mark. Hiding among the rats, needle. Fitting. Not to draw attention here. Sound of metal. Workshop in the sewers. What is the needle's operation? All this silverware. Some still in their crates. Has this all been seized as well? They are melting the silver into bars and coins. What do they plan on doing with it? Please! Don't do this! It's a misunderstanding, that's all. I'll pay! You had your chance. I'm not surprised to find you creeping down here. You! You don't belong down here! We run a clean dark in Jorvik. I believe those were your words. And yet here I find you swimming in silver from all the wares you've seized. Are you the Needle, or just another of his pawns? You have it all wrong. The fabric of this world has been used up, torn, shredded, you see. Someone must be there to stitch it back together. Someone with a firm yet steady hand who can thread a needle. Someone like me. You are a shit poet, but at least my question is answered. <laughs> yes, well, we all have our weaknesses. Yours appears to be the iron between us. I think your men are going to stop me. I would not undermine them so. The Red Hand are loyal to our cause, which is more than I can say for the merchants. Make it quick! Meet me in the marketplace when you are done!
No. Oh. Oh, that's it now. Target practice. Did I lose him? Yeah, I did. That was your fault, not mine. in the air. The sights, the sounds, the smells. Please, Grigory, I, I, I didn't think you'd mind. It was just a few coins. Shh, 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 shh. I understand. It's not your fault. It was mine for thinking you had anything but empty air between your ears. With all the silver I've given you, I have nothing left to feed my children, let alone myself. Please, understand. <laughs> Oh, dear God. Merchants of Jorvik, I promised you a future rife with opportunity. And what was the one thing I asked in return? Do you remember? Loyalty. Loyalty! Let this serve as a lesson, should any of you think it a good idea to threaten my operation. I should be cautious around here. Child, I thought of snow as the tears of God, frozen by our sins. Weak with hunger, I stared into the sky, hoping it was me he wept for. Me he sought to save. But God did not save me. The vault did. He took me to a fine house, gave me hearty meals, a warm bed. For the first time, someone extended a hand. Showed me kindness, compassion. And it was then that I made a vow. I vowed to never turn my back on he who was there for me when God was not. So you served the vault, knowing full well what he was a part of. The Order made our paths intersect. I owed them a debt, and I repaid it by saving this city from its own destruction. A life debt is a strong motivator. It took hold of this one's Hugard, drove it, and never let go. Yet not with the same compassion you were shown. Too many have suffered by your hand in pursuit of this course. You're right. Perhaps I deserve this death. But I am but one cog in a large wheel. One that still turns unhindered. Not for long. Where you have gone, there will be no tears waiting for you. Fight smart! Use your Rima!
Alright guys, till next time.